All right, YouTube, what is happening? We are back with another knife review, and we are looking at a Riot knife. This is the Starboy, excuse me, not Starboy, Baby Machine, a Tashi Barushka, um, I believe that's how you say his name, collaboration, and comes in your typical Riot white box with this um, awesome pouch. Very nice. Um, looks like they gave us some extra washers um, and some extra screws that's interesting I noticed that before and then you get a clean cloth a patch and a wow all kinds of cool stuff a little baggy and then a baby machine certificate of authenticity I was gonna say mine's not damaged till it's RL RLW 34 satin finish a team V blast. So really cool little card there too. So lots of cool swag that comes with this knife. Alright. So I've had this knife for I don't know, about a week or so. And I literally, if you follow my Instagram feed, which you guys, if you don't follow my Instagram feed, go on there because I'll tend to post a lot of pictures of things that I do with the knives, like I'm breaking down cardboard if I do some food prep, you know what I mean? Just to, I don't always video that stuff, and it's just because a lot of times I don't have time or an extra hand or a, a cameraman. <laughs> so follow me on there, and you can see a lot of the, uh, you know, different things I do with these knives as, as far as when I test them and before I review them and stuff. Sometimes I'll do them in video as well, so it just depends on timing. But I've been carrying the baby machine for about, um, I don't know, it's going on a week now. I don't think it's been quite a week yet. And I freaking love this knife, guys. It is it is so awesome. I've always loved Tashi Barushka designs, and this one is no exception. I've always thought it was a really good-looking knife. But, you know, the price point was always one that kind of like on his, you know, mid-text customs that kind of put me away. So React, you know, collaborated with this one, brought this to market. This one's 320 bucks, so it's not cheap, but um, it is well worth the money. I'll tell you that right now. We'll start the review off by saying that. So brief brief specs real quick. You have the 7.375 inch overall length, three and a quarter inch blade with a three inch cutting edge. You have a blade width of 1.25 inches, blade thickness of just over 0.1. RLW34 drop point uh, blade style with a flat grind on that. Satin finish on that um, with a handle length of 4.125 inches with a handle width of 1.125 and your thickness in the handle is 0.54. Uh, weighing in at 4 ounces. So, very just a very good sized knife um, overall. Features multi row um, ceramic bearings. So it's super, super smooth. I mean, it just feels like glass. It's, you know, a lot of nice drop free and stuff, but just the way it opens and deploys is so buttery smooth. Love it. Okay, let's go ahead and look at, I'm just gonna verify some of those specs. I like to do that. Sometimes they're not always listed correctly, so. Yeah, you're about a four inch handle though. So that's about right. What I wanted to measure as well was the blade stock. I think it feels thicker than that to me, but I could be wrong. So let's measure it. See, yeah, I'm getting 0.15. They were saying 0.11, so definitely off on that. 0.15, I thought it was a thicker blade stock and that felt, always felt thicker than that. And then let's do the thinness behind the edge. So it's ground very pretty thin, 0 0.02 uh, behind the edge. Not bad at all. So should be, and it is a good slicer. It slices really well. Um, I've cut up, I broke down a ton of boxes. Just glide through that cardboard. Um, the edge is still pretty sh pretty sharp. I did um, quite a bit of food prep with this as well. Uh, it worked really well in that aspect of, of the knife's or of its performance. So it, you know it's definitely a all-around use EDC knife. It's not limited to one you know type of uh, use. Um, 
So what I like about this knife is the handle. The handle is so well designed. It's crazy how well designed it is. When you first pick it up, you're like, there's this instant grip right here where you kind of choke up. But the way the handle is designed, you have this um, groove right here, we'll call it, where these two fingers sit and then the other fingers wrap around and it's super comfortable and you're not going to slip up on that blade. It's got a nice twill there. And right here on the blade is this big flat section here, um, kind of a swedge, I guess you'd call it, where you put your thumb and you have very fine detail work. Now, if you want to choke back on the knife, your, your index finger naturally comes here and your other fingers wrap around the handle like normal and you just use that knife as you kind of normally would. It's super comfortable. It works really well. At first, when I first picked it up, I was like, well, that's kind of awkward, but then you realize, wow, this handle is designed a certain way to choke up, to choke down, choke back on it, and it works well. And then the reverse grip, um, super comfortable as well. You can also choke up a little bit on that, or you can choke back. So it has basically two different ways you can hold the knife. So it's very, very comfortable. Um, the pocket clip is nice. It's titanium milled, very, very well done. Let's go ahead and show you how it carries in the pocket real quick. It's pretty deep. It's not 100%, but pretty deep carry. Works well, easy to get on and off, nice retention. So the pocket clip is definitely a winner. Let's do some size comparisons while I'm thinking about it. This is the Benchmade Bug Out with the titanium scales. Very, very similar size knife. Pretty much my sweet spot. ZT609 and the Spyderco Param 3. A little less blade out of the pair of three than the other ones, but overall, uh, very, very similar size to those knives. So, if you like that size of knife, which is my preferred type of knife, then you're gonna love, love this knife. Love, love, love it. Love it. <laughs> it's been awesome. So, um, let's talk about the fit and finish because Riot is known for incredibly good fit and finish, and this knife is no exception to that. Do you have a B blast finish, but it's a really well done kind of subdued bee blast you got this milling here with these little dimples here on um, them those are all polished so those really pop when you look at it the pivot um and it's just pretty much your normal pivot it has a integral look to it it's obviously not integral <clears throat> excuse me but it has that like does you know if you looked at it from a glance you'd think oh that's an integral knife and you can see the screws on this side but, and it has a pretty seamless um, how where the titanium comes together here is very seamless and pretty much perfect. Actually, it is perfect. It's not pretty much. So the machine and the uh, fit and finish are fantastic. The clip is like a machined finish, but it, and it has the little dimples as well that match. Um, so I like that quite a bit. No no complaints there. The sniper is also available in a blue anodized titanium. The lock bar insert on there. You've got um, some internal milling which lightens up the knife. Uh, some nice little pockets inside of there. So that's always, always something I look for in a knife. Centering is absolutely perfect out of the box, and the action is just buttery, buttery smooth. The natural indication, the way you want to open this knife, um, deployment, I guess, is the next thing we're going to talk about. You have multiple options. Really, the finger, fing middle finger flick is going to be the intuitive, natural way to open the knife. The thumb hole, you can slowly open it, so you can do that. That's another natural way to use it as to flick it out is a little less natural, but it's it's optional. It's there. You can do it if you want. I find myself just doing that all the time. Just middle finger flicking it, just like a spider co uh, has, you know, a different, definitely size uh, shaped hole, pretty pretty large on there, but it works really well to deploy the knife. You have a beautiful swedge on this guy here. Really nice satin grinder finish on that. Blade is was perfectly symmetrical on the grinds and then on the uh, bevels the edge did not come terribly sharp it wasn't like dull but it was not the sharpest knife that i have had out of the box that's for sure and i've put a lot of use through it and it's still going to cut through uh, paper like no big deal um, but i i'm probably going to put my own edge on it with my wicked edge or something just to make it a little better. I just like to, I don't like to sharpen the knives and reprofile and stuff before I know for sure that this is going to be a keeper, which let me tell you what guys, summing it up in this review is this is definitely a keeper in my rotation. 
uh, I've had a hard time putting it down. Um, a lot of times I'll get knives in for review and I'll carry it once or twice and then, you know, I'll start rotating other knives in and this one it is like immediately kicked everything out of the pocket. It has been um, just my go-to. I just pick it up because it's, it's comfortable. It's a good size. It's lightweight. You know, it just weighs just under, just about four ounces. Let's actually verify that real quick. My scale is super reliable these days. <laughs> 2.3, wow. Look how light this is. Freaking kidding me right now. Yeah, four ounces, even. You guys can't see it because this is like the most level place, but if I move up here. Okay, now you can see it. Four ounces. So, right on, right on the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Lightweight, easy to carry, not too thick in the handle. It is a little wide in the pocket. That's my. I guess if I had one complaint, it would be that. But I knew that getting this knife because it's it's when you have to have these thumb holes. Hence the Spider Co is very wide as well. Uh, let me show you kind of a comparison of the width. How to best do this. I think that the Spider Co. Yeah, Spider Co is technically just a bit wider than this. So if the pair of three is not a big deal to you, this is even actually a little slimmer in the pocket. Very, very similar, but you know, they basically, instead of having this hump right here, use this as like a swedge here and used a different style of hole. So obviously it's not spider fill, but anyway, um, very, very, so that's my only qualm, qualm, which is very small and not a big deal. I usually typically like slimmer knives, not only like in thickness this way, but in this kind of thickness, like the bug out is a great example of one that's very thin uh, both ways. But I haven't found the baby machine to be obtrusive or to like when I reach my pocket to really get in the way. So it's not too you know, big enough knife, I think, at all to even worry about that. So, but overall, I'm very happy with the knife. Um, is it worth the price point? You know, I think so. I, I you know, you're getting super good quality in, um, in, in re with Riot knives, um, and you know, there's there's definitely a more expensive Riot knives out there. I think this is one of their least expensive ones, actually. So it's very much worth that. I got a pretty good deal on it, so I would say even for what I paid for, it's even better. But um, I would definitely not shy away from that price point if you like the Tashi Brushka designs. If you like Riot knives, uh, this is definitely one you want to have in the collection. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. And we will see you on the next one.